Transmitting to you from Old Heart Radio. Obviously, Matinee Edition. You know it. We're lightning round. <laughs> It's got to be snappy. It's got to be quick. It's got to be everything they hoped and dreamed it could be. That's it. It's obviously matinee funny. edition. You know it. <laughs> Lightning round. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that'd actually be funny. When you edit it, you should speed up the, speed up the theme. Flip that, man. Seriously, right. though, hot dogs. This is episode 58. We got a lot to talk about. No time for banter. Let's yeah. just get into the news. Let's actually, let's get into our first, uh, the Mandalorian. Oh, yes. Chapter 15, was it, I believe? Yeah, whatever. Bill Burr came back. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic episode. Uh, Great episode. It was super cool to see the team that they kind of assembled. Um, I hope Bill Burr's character actually comes back in some in some capacity. Yeah. They sort of, they didn't kill him. They left it ambiguous. Yeah. He, uh, we we kinda, saw, he we saw, was, oh, 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 we saw, we saw clean Boba Fett. Oh, shit. Yeah, dude. His armor was fucking slick. Uh and also just like there's this i just want to point out this the one like it was basically just a big setup for the finale we all knew that but a yeah. really really awesome episode all the same uh but there's that really tense scene in the imperial cantina yeah where bill burr ends up shooting that that officer and like i like i never knew bill like you said it before this but like like i, I think we were both blown away by bill burr's act, like ability to act in the- <laughs> i know i was really impressed so, so here's the thing do you know what operation cinder is I'm, I'm not off the top of my head so operation cinder was from the battlefront 2 game that came out a few years ago which i played so that was essentially after after the empire fell but before the Battle of Jakku that left all the Star Destroyers where yeah. Rey grew up, um, the Empire was like, well, fuck it. We're going to use all of our super weapons on oh. just civilian targets or random targets I- to try and kill enough people to grab the galaxy again. Yeah. I, I I do kind of have a reference to this. I just watched like the Star Wars timeline thing again today. Yeah. And it talked and about it. Like they were using crazy shit. Fuck like up. they were nuking planets. They were using severe weather inducing shit. Like, yeah. and they were like Bill Burr said, they were wiping out legions of stormtroopers as collateral damage. Yeah. And that guy, that's why like that, that's what I mean. Like that, that, that scene, like you just felt it. Like, and you, yeah. like you knew the, like, I, I didn't fully know going into that he was actually going to do something, but at a certain point in that scene, you just knew that he was going to fucking like try to like kill this guy. Yeah, he was going to, yeah, he was going to crack. It became obvious, but you weren't like, I don't know. Like I wasn't upset by it. Like, I didn't think it was like, like, I understand like the idea like, Oh, it's going to fuck up the mission or something. But like, I, I was also like, dude, like he, this yeah, is fuck him. a chance to like <laughs> say like, you know, fuck you to the guy. So like the guy who fucked over so many people. Yeah. You know I mean like, ah, oh, like the, the, yeah, that was such a good, that was such a good scene. And then like the, just the exit, like the fucking picking up Boba Fett, the seismic two, charge two snipers just on the fucking Ridge Fennec and uh, the Ranger. What's her name? Uh, <laughs> Cara Dune. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cara Dune. It's like, they're just, you know, that was cool. It was a cool exit. But like I said, it was just, it's, dude, there's something really up for this next about one. seeing Star Wars without any Jedi, you know? Oh, totally. Yeah, it's like, it's... it's. Because the Jedi would be mowing through those stormtroopers. They wouldn't take the back exit. They would just go through everybody. Oh, for sure. Like, if Tana was a part of their crew at the moment, like... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. In Rebels, she fucked up, like, three Inquisitors. You know what the Inquisitors are, right? Yeah. Yeah, they, they... Like, she fucked up, like, three Inquisitors without even moving her fists. That's what I mean, man. Like, I, I'm... that That actually... I think is a perfect segue into into one of the major topics, uh, the 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 huge Star Wars drop that we had. Dude, I got it in front of me. I got all the stuffs. 
they're going to be launching a ton of new projects. Shall we just go one by one and yeah. give quick uh, thoughts on them? Yeah, yeah. If you, if you got them in front of me, what do you got? I got, I got them in front of me. Um, so the first one to be announced was the Rangers of the New Republic. Oh, yeah. So is that, is that the, that's going to be supposedly maybe like involving Cara Dune. And I, I believe that's like the spinoff that we've maybe been hearing about. Yeah. So to me, this seemed like, and I, they said it in the announcements, this is going to be like the defenders of like uh, Disney plus star Wars. They mentioned that yeah. this is going to eventually bring together all of the shows mm-hmm. that they've been talking about into one climactic event. That's going to wrap them all up. Yeah. And I'm beginning to already have thoughts on what that event might be, by the way, but, but it's yeah. Thrawn, right. It's got to have, it's got to involve Thrawn. Yeah. Come on. And so, right. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah. So, I mean, it, it sounds like it, I don't know. I mean, it sounds like it'll be hopefully like a, just kind of adventure show. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't I, like that. The first we, thing I saw when this was announced was somebody commented on the Instagram post saying they're defenders in this bitch. Oh man. I mean, they'll probably have learned from the defenders though. The defenders <laughs> were pretty no weak. Offense. No offense to the uh, the characters. It was just it was a weak weak. Program. Hey, actually, quickly on the note of the defenders, we don't really have new time to talk about this, but uh, Charlie Cox is supposedly going to be in Spider Man as well. So yeah, on top of an insane list of other people at this point. Yeah, which supposedly they're all coming in as cameos. Totally. I mean, so, anyway, we don't. Yeah, anyway, we we, we, gotta we, we can't we can't even talk about this. Not, there's no so time for an old heart about. tangent. Okay. <laughs> there's, there's no casting news attached to that, but pretty yeah. sweet. Then they're doing sweet. a they're doing an Ahsoka limited series, which is going to be awesome. There's no doubt about yeah. that. And I I definitely think this is going to be the sequel to Rebels that we're that that's going to be tracking down Ezra Bridger and Thrawn. Yeah. And we might see Sabine, who was the Mandalorian, with them. And she's really like the only okay. member of the squad that would be running with Ahsoka. Oh, fair enough. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously looking forward to this. It's going to be awesome to see Ahsoka in action. And yeah, like based on everything I've been like recently ingesting again, like a re- it'd be a really awesome way to do like a, this. This whole set would be a really awesome setup for a live action, like not conclusion, but like follow up. To yeah, storyline where the like they were let off left off in rebels like that absolutely shit's nuts I, like it's just such a good storyline that they built anyway yeah. uh what else we got uh next up is andor the series following um cat whatever cassian, cassian from yeah. uh rogue one prequel yeah. to that show this one like I, I think it's gonna be fun they, they described it as a spy thriller kathleen kennedy I love that shit. I mean, like, yeah, it, that might have been the coolest thing about Rogue One, about how it was like a war movie. There were stakes. Fucking everyone died at the end. Totally, totally. Which and removes the stakes from the show, but it well, just yeah. is set during an interesting time, covering something we haven't seen much of, which is the building of the rebellion. And yeah, that, that's really fuck. That's it. That is that's an exciting like period to me. Uh, and it'll be just interesting that they're taking like kind of like like that like choking on my drink spy thriller. It happens, man. That that spy thriller tone to it, like <laughs> because it, not everything needs to be you know like a like a full on sci fi adventure. Yeah, I mean, back to rebels. Rebels took place during this same chunk of time, building the re- initial rebellion. But rebels was like a really happy go lucky type of uh, show. Like I'm so down to see some dark shit. Yeah, me too. Serious shit in Star Wars. Yeah, me too. I th- I think it's gonna be pretty fun to see. Like, I don't know, just the the build out of this of this new universe that they're starting. Well, not the new universe, but this new I don't know branch of Star Wars. Like because all because like you mentioned earlier, they're tying all these shows together in the end. Yeah, with like a you know big event. They yeah. Uh, so you know, uh, well, maybe not Andor, but Andor might be maybe the not. outlier. Andor, I think, and, and the next one, Obi Wan Kenobi, might be the outliers. Maybe. I mean, well, what, probably it depends on the time period. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Obi Wan. Well, well, yeah, I guess, yeah, for sure, because they described this Obi Wan as ten years after the battle that he had on Mustafar with his Which, apprentice. Let's get down to business here. Mm. Hayden Christensen returns as Darth Vader. I don't give a what? fuck how much I've hated on that guy be- before, though. I'm excited about that. I'm He's been excited. working in 
indie movies and supposedly he's done good work since dude everybody grows we've seen rob we've seen robert pattinson become batman like <laughs> you know what i mean uh yeah but but hayden christensen and, and ewan mcgregor like they and i've, I've read this in, in, in interviews with uh the mcgregor's given given they have like a, a like kind of brotherly bond that they formed making those movies in a way and so like you'll i think it'll be all the more uh, weighty and like probably better acted that they have like the better chemistry going in back yeah. into this. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I think it's set. It's once again, another show set in a very interesting time period. Yes. And this time with a cast that like everybody's been champing at the bit for Ewan McGregor to come back. Dude, for real, man. Like this, uh, that's what's exciting about, about uh, Disney as, as I think Feige put it in, in, in his presentation. Uh, having this like avenue to do these kind of projects finally. Yeah. You know absolutely. what I mean? This would have, this shit would have never worked on just straight television. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Like this one <laughs> happened. Like they're, they're like, as we'll see when we talk about Marvel, it's just such high production value. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm absolutely looking forward to this Obi-Wan this piece. I, I mean, like apparently Kathleen Kennedy and her slackluster tone God, dude, like I, I don't want to hate on her, we were, but like it was. We, just were, like, we were talking about this before we started recording. It seems like Kathleen Kennedy loves Star Wars way less than Kevin Feige loves Marvel. Exactly, man. It's just it, it shows in the presentations, but yeah. but she described it as the rematch of the century. <laughs> <laughs> Which who the fuck knows what that's about? I I'm, I struggle to like. I don't remember in I don't no. remember in canon where Vader and Obi Wan had another clash, but who knows, man? I mean, if they want to squeeze it in, I'm not going to say no at this point. <laughs> Let's keep going. Yeah. Uh, next up is the Bad Batch, the sequel to the Clone Wars, an, an animated series. Animated series. Uh, that yeah, I it's going to be doc. It's going to be covering the time uh, and sort of finally giving us what happened to clones in between the time of the clone wars and the start of a new hope yeah there's a shot of like uh the emperor kind of declaring like we are now known as the galactic uh the first galactic empire yeah and so it's like you, you're covering that transition uh as well as probably like i mean the clones being phased out a bit because like, yeah. they start i think i think they people at that like kids at the small or was that just the yeah they stopped they evolution? stopped using the clones because the clones started to age out because they have yeah. the rapid aging and they mentioned in the in the announcement that it's going to be about clones that are aimless in this new galaxy finding their way that's interesting i mean that's definitely an interesting perspective and they've pulled off this like this kind of like really he, like weighty storytelling and animation before in a yeah. way. So, like i'm looking forward to it did you catch that phoenix is gonna be in this oh i didn't no that's cool yeah dude like her outfit where she has the helmet and shit on it's totally she's totally in the trailer oh, for it dang i'll have to rewatch that try and cap try and capture that that's fucking yeah cool. there's a couple shots and then lastly for star wars we have star wars visions which is going to be a limited series made up of anime studios from japan creating their unique takes on star wars Cool, fascinating man. that's some right. cool shit yeah. i don't really have much else to say but it's just a great idea yeah absolutely i remember like years ago i think after the dark night yeah uh, they did this like compilation where like a few different directors came together with like animators and made these like different uh batman segments yeah they all had these different like vibes and stories and like dude this, this cool. immediately like, reminds cool me when people do shit like that and this yeah would be a great Format. This immediately reminds me of the first, like there was one season, there was the Clone War, mm -hmm. and then there was the Clone Wars. And that yes. one season of the Clone War was made by the same animators as Samurai Jack. Yeah, yeah. I can't, and I, I can't feel like this has got to be the inspiration for this series. Hopefully. I mean, because that, that is actually probably my favorite piece of Star Wars animation still. Yeah, uh, it's really fucking good. It is. It's really good. It's dark at parts and like yeah. Yeah. anyway. Uh, and then we have so, yeah. one. We have one more Lucasfilm announcement. Willow, which I think we talked about last week. I mentioned it, dude. It's the only other project that Lucasfilm is going to be doing, basically, besides Star Wars, probably. So yeah, uh, I, I'm so fucking excited about that. Uh, but we'll, you know, more on that as it develops, I suppose. Right? Yeah, we don't really have anything yet. 
And then I'm going to quickly lay out some, some of the Disney announcements before yeah. we get into Marvel. So uh, first Disney announcement, uh, Floral, Flora and Ulysses, which is a young comic, comic book fan and her superpowered squirrel sidekick team up. Interesting. What the fuck is this? <laughs> they might as well make a squirrel girl, a squirrel girl movie. I know, right? That's immediately. That's kind of what I think. Oh no! Damn it all! It's frozen. It froze right in the middle of our good podcast. But, oh, he's back! He's back! Yep, it's fucking. Boom! Oh, let's see if that happens. All right. Anyway. Next step. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Zoom. I can hear you. Can you hear me? All right, me? sweet. Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> Zoom. Um, All right. So next up, we have the Little Mermaid. Oh, yeah. Is the, the live action Little Mermaid? Live action, which they cast. So Ariel is going to be played by Haley Bailey or Hallie Bailey, who uh, they announced that a while back and it was super controversial. Um, da- David Diggs, who is from Hamilton, is going to voice Sebastian. Javier Bardem is going to be Cri- King Triton, which is really cool. And they have a handful of really good actors in here. Oh, cool. And, I mean, f- good on them. Chip and Dale with Andy Samberg and John Mulaney. Oh, shit. Like Chip and Dale yeah. Rescue Rangers? Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, dude. Okay, I'm into that. Um, Pinocchio with Tom Hanks. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I, I do actually think Pinocchio is the best film to translate to live action because yeah. it's the most like dark. <laughs> For sure, I, I would agree. That's probably it's probably the best to try to do. Anyway, there's, there, there's gonna be a uh, Peter Pan and Wendy movie with Jude Law. The fuck knows about that? Oh, is Jude Law uh, playing there, Peter Pan? Who knows? I don't really oh. know about this. I feel like that's weird. Um, I feel like there's this, there's this animated there's this Disney Disney animation movie coming out in March called Raya and the Last Dragon and it looks the aesthetic is like if they made three D three D Avatar and when oh. the trailer came out there were a bunch of memes about how much it looks like Avatar okay. so you should check that out it's pretty funny they they um, announced a few things about that film hmm. uh, they announced a Baymax animated show for Big Hero Six I don't know if you watched that. Oh yeah, yeah. I I remember liking that movie. They're doing like a. a did you say a series? Yeah, they're doing a series. They're oh, doing a cool. Zootopia series. They're doing a Princess and the Frog series, and they're doing a Moana series. Which I watched Moana for the first time like six months ago. That movie oh. made me fucking cry. It's so good. Yeah, I remember it being real fucking good, man. Weighty, weighty. <laughs> oh yeah. Um. There's like an. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Iwaju, which it looks sort of like Black Panther, like Afrofuturism. Hmm, yeah that's gonna be a new animated series um they're doing a series called Encanto which is it's gonna be sort of like Coco but based on Colombian culture oh nice man there's gonna, yeah there's gonna be a turning red movie I don't fucking know what that is um <laughs> to be honest they're doing they're doing a turning Buzz Lightyear red. origin story oh, with yeah, Chris Evans playing Buzz Lightyear that's the one I heard about I yeah. wonder if how butthurt Tim Allen got that they didn't ask him to be Buzz Lightyear again. <laughs> they got to they gotta make him younger. They got to make him younger. I know. I know. I, I mean, I guess that's an interesting concept because that's like, it's about uh, like the Buzz Lightyear person, not the toy. Right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> which I didn't realize that that was a. I did like how they described it though. When they announced it, they said that like from the get go, Buzz Lightyear was supposed to be this superhero from a movie. And yeah. only now are they getting around to making the movie. Oh, oh. all right. Well, right on. Yeah. Pretty sweet. I like pretty the Chris cool. Evans' I, is catch. Yeah, <laughs> I think. It, yeah, I think. It, I mean, I think it'll probably be good. I mean, either way. So, um, that brings us to Marvel. We're getting down to oh. fucking business here. I think this is the fastest we've ever talked about anything. Dang, dude, we we've, we've been on point, man. We're, well, yeah, we're cruising. It's cool. Like, just you know even though it's disney i think it's cool that they're really trying to keep continuing to do like different cultures it's yeah they're trying to like represent different cultures in their animated projects which directly uh is ingested by kids so i yeah, think dude. i think it's better. great it makes kids more it makes kids more tolerant more educated about the world i mean like moana is a phenomenal movie yeah man and that movie coco is a f- up dude coco is a great movie i mean like it's I'm 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 like 
I'm really happy at the level of like inclusion that's coming out in these in these films. Yeah, and I hope it continues. Shall uh, we shall we hop into Marvel then? We're yeah, we're yeah. we're there. Well, Marvel and Marvel. I mean, speaking of inclusion, Marvel's really representing in their current in their continued lineup. I think of hell yeah. And, uh, one of the things that they announced during their presentation uh, was that they're you know not going to be replacing Tra- Chadwick Boseman in oh, uh, yeah, Black dude. Panther two. I'm I'm, I'm very it. happy about that. Yeah, I think everybody's happy about that. Like it was a very strong portrayal, and I don't think anybody was really asking for you know a replacement they they can yeah. find ways to like continue that story i mean for god's sake shuri is the black panther in the comics for like a hot like a while i believe a while you know who i want though who? i want them i want them to have saved killmonger oh no <laughs> i want killmonger to come out of prison being a good guy Ah, uh, that'd be so cheese. Just because it'd be, it'd be popular, very just because he was a popular villain. Like, nah, it's for me. It's because it's Michael B. Jordan, and there's no better person, dude. He's he's gonna be the Human Torch. You know that? <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> not my Human Torch. Hashtag. Oh no. So, uh, but I, well, you know, so that's cool. Black Panther Two is still up in the air. Yeah, still up in the air. They didn't make a firm announcement on that one. Shall, shall we shall we start off with the uh, the white people first? <laughs> so Suburb, suburban white people. Um, WandaVision. Oh man, yeah. New trailer. It looks so fucking good. It looks it looks awesome, and you, you know, like you get to see kind of at one point like how they transition from one theme to the next. It looked like in in a scene, like it was like going from like black and white to like the seventies in, yeah. in a room. And, and it, it got like, really unsettling at some points too. It did. And I think that's the vibe that we're going to maybe see like slowly uh, turned up and then like, it'll be left at, at 11 for Dr. Strange. Yeah, totally. Well, I think it's actually going to be Spider-Man then Dr. Strange because in the press conference, okay. they said that WandaVision is going to directly tie into the Spider-Man movie mm. and the Dr. Strange film. Fair enough. So I think they're using this as a way to like validate all the older versions of Spider-Man and like the venom verse let's call it oh yeah definitely uh but yeah i mean so shit dude i mean what else we got i'm watching legion right now as i've told you many times oh yeah man and it's so fucking good and i just want to see a bit of that really surrealist nature put into a show like wandavision Absolutely. I mean, because WandaVision is going to be the first one that get the first series that gets dropped. And then uh, it's probably going to be, uh, like I said, a tone setter and a game changer. So hopefully they took note from Legion a little bit. Yeah, Dude, that show is so fucking good. I was texting you early today, earlier today about that psychic fight they had while singing the who it's fucking like the things that they pull off just, yeah. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? It's way more entertaining than watching the psychics fight in the movies, where they're just like putting their fingers to their yeah. forehead and looking at each other. Yeah. In in Legion, they're like, "Oh, we're gonna animate an entire fight where they're morphing into animals and shit and attacking each other exactly. while they're just staring each other down." It's so fucking badass. It is. Let's uh, keep. Let's. We gotta keep chugging though. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Uh, Falcon the Winter Soldier. We finally got a trailer. It's gonna come out in March looks awesome they literally kevin feige literally said that it is a six-part movie basically fuck yes <laughs> like like it's just a movie it looks that's been good. broken down uh it looks fucking good it looks it looks like a movie it really What's, does like the production how, how are your thoughts on the uh, falcon suit the falcon suit looks awesome i just kept thinking <laughs> it looks like, great there when he jumps out of that plane in the trailer i kept thinking like like if he's so upbeat but you have to be a particular type of person to want to like jump out of a plane with this nonchalantly like, yeah, just so nonchalantly you know even with something strapped to your back so it, lo- it looks really cool their characters look like they're going to be really strong uh there's a shot uh, i saw it pointed down on- online too it looks like at one point they're following zemo somewhere yeah uh, did you yeah that's i keep seeing i kept seeing that theory that zemo was actually going to be a good guy sort of like suicide squad kind of leading or, them through like some or, sort of thunderbolts per se the um but i really i really like the idea of them working with zemo because he's such a fucking fun like daniel Bruhl's phenomenal anyway 
yeah yeah it'd be a way it'd be a wasted character if they didn't like continue with him in some degree and this show looks like it's going to be awesome they talk about the legacy of captain america and how heavy yeah. it is and i love the symbol that's needed and stuff i love the espionage angle as well like Absolutely. i really like that they're buying into that do you have any idea who the villain is that's one thing that threw me no. off i thought it was going to be zemo but no i have no idea yeah maybe, I, here's, maybe here's, it's the man dude Maybe, dude. I, I'm really hoping they start going with some original villains here because they're going to start exhausting all the big guns soon. Well, for sure. This, be, this is like the first big opportunity to do something like yeah. that. Which, speaking of big guns, I want. I'm going to bring up one here. We got Thor: Love and Thunder. They yeah. finally announced. Oh Christian fuck Bays. yeah! You were right, dude. I was. Totally... <laughs> you messaged me on Instagram, being like, "Damn, you were right." Yeah. But I was, you know, I was reading like the full hit, like kind of like comic history of gore and like that shit gets dark, man. Yeah. And like, he's a fucking serious character. Yeah. And so I'm wondering how that's going to play out with him, like in just one movie. But uh, I mean, it's awesome that Christian Bale's going to play him. Christian Bale's a hell of a a fucking actor. So he's going to get yoked. (laughs) Yo, dude. Um, but I keep wondering if that's going to tie into any uh, another show that they had talked about. Uh, Ooh, Loki. Loki? Yeah. yeah, I was about, I was about to bring up Loki. That looks fucking sweet because so it's described as like a crime thriller with yeah. Loki. It looks it looks like a kind of like it's got this dark edge to it, man. And maybe it's going to lead up to I don't know what the lineup what the timeline is off the top of my so head. So this is going to be after Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Is it going to be before Thor though? Yes. Because I think it might have some, like, may, I, I'm wondering if it has but some build up to Thor in this It's way, the important like, distinction that it's existing in the universe that they fucked up in Endgame. Okay. Yeah. So it might not even touch Love and Thunder. Maybe not. Maybe. And not. Here's, here's the interesting thing people ca- started catching is that Loki in this trailer, you see him as BD Cooper. Do you know who that is? Yeah, yeah, totally. I was just actually going to do a podcast on him. Oh, sweet. You yeah. should mention it in the, in the Coughing Contemplation. But like he's BD Cooper in the trailer when he's jumping out of the oh, plane. DB, DB, DB. Yeah. I keep getting uh, that. But back. but yeah yeah. And then but there's a shot. There's that shot, and he he says like like Heimdall. Uh, my brother, Heimdall my save me, whatever. Yeah, and like and they zap him with the fucking you know uh, Bifrost. Bifrost, and it's like I don't know. It's just it's it's really interesting. Like the 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 layers of connectivity that that show will also have. Yeah. Potentially, just because it's like it's it's showing you more of this like multiverse time travel aspect of like marvel and yeah i mean like i heard i didn't catch it but i heard there's like a king the conqueror potential image in there which did you do you oh did you see black widow in the trailer yeah yeah that totally is black widow people are saying like it's somebody else but that's like that looks exactly like dude if we're talking people stranded in time black widow like theoretically if steve brought the soul stone back she had to pop up somewhere dude it's yeah i mean maybe then maybe i don't know I and mean, then they also cast a female loki in that show mm-hmm. so he's gonna be he's gonna be running around quite a bit hell yeah i'm super excited for that most of his tom hiddleston is so charismatic and just an enjoyable person to watch yeah it looks like they got a really good cast there yeah um wow wow, wow what yeah. a good cast oh, wilson wow. uh, what else we got um what if is next what if it's going to be 22 episodes covering every movie in phase one a different take on what could have happened yeah i think that's cool we see stuff like uh captain britain with peggy Peggy carter we see see like zombie zombies yeah Yeah. we see evil dr strange yeah t'challa as like as star -Lord. Star lord yeah which is gonna be the last thing chadwick boseman ever did yeah, he did the he he did record that, didn't he? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, that'll be kind of a a fun like take, and it'll remind you of like you know the kind of fun stories that like yeah. happened during that phase, those phases, you know. You know who's the uh, Jeffrey whatever his name is is the actor voicing the the Watcher? Oh God, Jeffrey Wright. Yeah, yeah, Jeffrey Wright. You know who would have been a better choice for that, in my opinion? Stanley. No. Well, well, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Lavar Burton. But you know. oh dang, <laughs> you know I love Jeffrey Wright, but I'm gonna give you that, yeah, for sure, because I got <laughs> that would be great. Lamar Burton more. Uh, that that would be fucking awesome. Next like, up, they did some casting for Shang Chi. Oh Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one white good. dude, Florian Monteo, who is from the only acting credit he had before was in Creed Two, where he played um, he played Victor Drago's son. Oh okay. And dude, he's a fucking badass and a genuinely good actor 
Well, there you go. Man. I'm really happy to see him in other stuff, but like Aquafina has been t- on two casting lists in this announcement from Disney. Oh yeah. for She's fucking awesome. Uh, yeah. And Shang-Chi, they mentioned uh, that it's going to be the first movie of this next phase. So yeah. that'll be exciting to check out. I'm actually just like looking at this shit. <laughs> Ronnie Chang's in it. Damn. Yeah, dude, all right. got, got He's hilarious. Cast. Um, all right. We got, what do we else? What else we got? We got, we got to keep moving. We got less than a minute uh, on the on the clock here. Oh God, we got uh, Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel, yes. Miss Marvel looks like it's going to be fun. Hopefully, it'll be kind of right in that line of like probably kid, adult, human. Yeah, I think uh, I think but, it's going to be trained over. But surprise, they're actually going to be connecting her directly to Captain Marvel too. Yeah, Captain Marvel too. As quote from Kevin Feige, co-starring yeah. in it. We're getting we're getting into the tight stuff here. Yeah. Hawkeye is next. Yeah, which Hawkeye's next? They confirmed Haley Seinfeld is going to be. There's already been photos of Kate Bishop uh, yeah. in a costume. It's going to be she fucking looks sweet. Uh, she Hulk. Yeah, She Hulk's going to be fun because it actually is going to be like green uh, skin, six foot She Hulk. Yeah. And <laughs> they were sort of hinting at it being like a pseudo law procedural as well. Yeah, because they, they I mean, like, you, she, they hinted at like, uh, uh, you never know who's from. Show up. From other people, I mean, and this actually, I, from a different quote, he actually like, you know, kind of nodded that like even Charlie, even Daredevil might pop into that. Dude, I'm down. They're what I think a great they're embracing. I think in. they're embracing Charlie Cox, man. I, don't I hope wanna, so. I don't want to get my hopes up too much. We've but. we've talked so many times about how good yes. that cast for the Defenders is. Yes, but Moon Knight is next, which yes. they said is going to be an Indiana Jones style. Egyptian yeah. archaeology type thriller, yeah, it's like steeped in Egyptology. Uh, uh, yeah. So it, I don't know, man. I'm looking. I, I'm really just interested to hear like more build out on that one because hopefully Oscar Isaac, right? Yeah, they didn't. He didn't actually give any confirmed casting on there, which I thought was interesting because that yeah. was like a, that was like zooming around. Everybody was so confident in that. But next up, Secret Invasion, which is going to yeah. be touched on in Captain Marvel two and throughout the future of the MCU, which yep. is going to have Samuel Jackson and Ben Mendelsohn as Nick Fury and Talos, yep. respectively. So looking forward to that. I've long suspected that they're, they're going to try and pull off Secret Invasion. It was one of their most popular events in comics. It was huge. I yeah. remember I remember picking up every issue every fucking week, time it came out, and I was just blown the fuck away. It can, they can yeah. pull it off. Um, Ironheart is next, which I said they, I wouldn't be surprised if they made a while back. Yeah. Which Going I mean, with the inclusive in, inclusion angle that they went for in the comics a few years ago. Well, not just, I mean, not just because of that, but, but also because like, I mean, like the, like I didn't, I don't know. I, I read like a few issues, uh, but it was wildly popular. Like, like yeah. the introduction of Ms. Marvel, uh, it was like Kamala yeah. Khan. It was just, I feel, like I feel like Ms. Popular. Ms. Marvel and Miles Morales sort of overshadowed it a bit, but I've For only, sure. For sure. It was, it was definitely the more low key out of those three, but yeah. you were saying a while back that uh, Don Cheadle deserves his own show. We got there it. Go, Armor man. Wars. Armor Wars. What happens when Stark tech falls into the wrong hands? <laughs> Dude, that's exciting. Don Cheadle's great. Don Cheadle's fucking, fucking amazing. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. <sighs> you know, I got to be for this. Hold on. So I, I like, <laughs> I think it's all, it's all cool. It's definitely deep in the veins of star Wars, but it like what, what, what pisses me off is that like it was like announced in this way that like it got you hopeful that it was dropping this year yeah and they're like it's fine it'll, it'll drop in front of the you know, the same year as like guardians of the galaxy three and Fuckers. you're just like what the fuck why would you announce the holiday special not the movie <laughs> who gives a shit about that dude get the fuck out of here yeah. but something more fun i am groot the, the baby groot series of shorts That'll be cool. That'll be a cool little short series. Yeah, series of shorts for Disney Plus. But um, I don't know. I mean, it was a popular character. It got. It was fun. Yeah, they got to get know. the kids in somehow. They got to indoctrinate them somehow. Sometime. Uh, but what about Ant Man three, dude? Oh, just getting there. Quantum Mania. Quantum Mania. It's gonna bring it back. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, the beautiful Michelle Pfeiffer. Uh, what's his face? What's the his entire face? cast? And what's her face? I was just distracted by Michelle. The entire I just recently watched Batman Returns. Oh yeah, that. Oh fuck, you're right. Shit, yeah. Um, but and then Jonathan Majors is King the Conqueror. That's the most exciting. Please news out don't. Of everything. Please don't kill him immediately. They can't, dude. They can't. They like. They he's have so to, good. <laughs> he has to be their next big bad. Why yeah. bring King the Conqueror in if he's not going to be the next big bad? Big Dad, more like Iron Lad. Am I right? Uh. The. Uh, <laughs> and then finally, 
Fantastic Four. Oh yeah, you say that you say that so small. They've given they give no they give no other information besides that they're developing the fan the first family's and, final. And it's directed by by John Watts. Oh yeah, did, I guess they gave. He's that. done the most recent Spider Man films. So it'll probably be like a fairly family friendly, wholesome superhero cool movie like the Spider Man films but, with John Krasinski and Emily Blunt. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> but I'm excited, man. Long awaited. Have we wanted to have the fucking Fantastic Four back? And we finally will get them. So that's cool. And Blade is apparently in development. They actually mentioned that they're going to be making some yeah. announcements about that soon. So hell of a fucking plate, man. Dude, that's an episode. <laughs> 61 announcements from Disney. Dude, that's going to be the title of the fucking... Show, show, show. The, um... <laughs> Dude, well, I mean, honestly, I think we're out of time. We're in danger of getting cut off territory. Thanks, oh, man. Fuck uh, you, <laughs> But I'm so like it's like the best buffet plate I could have asked for. Absolutely, you know what I mean. Like there's so Absolutely. much from like Star Wars to Disney stuff to Marvel stuff. It's like Disney Plus will hopefully pay off in the next five year five years. <laughs> Here's my thing: if this might get cut off, but why the fuck didn't they do this sooner? At, absolutely like this is this is how it seems like it feels like disney disney plus should have launched launched a couple years later the mandalorian was the only thing they've offered for nearly two years at this point i know man maybe i feel like they're just they, i don't even know i have no excuses gotta, gotta make it the point. money make it the money make it the money i wish we could make it the money oh speaking of that uh oatly oatly sponsor us if you dare uh <laughs> everybody else get on instagram and follow us at old heart radio subscribe on youtube at old heart radio twitter now and then oh yeah get on twitter at old heart and space uh because maybe you know, jared won't get locked out of his account for threatening a politician again maybe not uh i also realized that the other day my QAnon coughing contemplation was the one that got pulled from youtube no way yeah all oh, because i was it... trying to figure out what the fuck q anon was <laughs> oh that's fair <sighs> their, their, their algorithms working a bit too hard this one hopefully will go up though i, I tried to stop i tried to curse less uh, either go. way i don't want to get cut off too much so i'm gonna cut it here there it is there and remember peace and chicken grease there it is